Hi. I'd like to explain the concept of grounding and how it can help you to become aware of how tension builds in your body and how you can stop it when it first begins to build. Okay? The first thing, and it's a really interesting concept, and I don't know why it is, but it's consistent all over the world, is whenever we tense, we tense up. You never hear of something tense, someone tensing down. Okay? It's right in the language. We say tense up. Okay? So the muscles that pull away from the ground are the ones involved in tensing. We become uptight. You never hear of someone becoming down tight. Okay? So the tension builds up. The muscles that pull away from the ground are the ones that are working against themselves. Okay? Now the simple principle with muscles is every muscle has an opposing muscle. So if I straighten out my arm, these muscles do the work and these muscles have to let go. I bend my arm, these muscles do the work, these have to let go. Okay? So what grounding does is it activates the opposite muscles that you use when you tense up. So if I'm tensing up like this, okay, my muscles are working all the time, the opposite muscles could be the ones pressing down. So one thing you can do, actually if you're sitting, you can simply press your feet down as you breathe in, relax as you breathe out, and that breaks up that pattern of tension. Okay? But grounding takes it a step further. Okay? Basically it puts your body into neutral. Okay? Neutral means the muscles are not working. Okay? My hips are directly over my feet. Okay? I'm going to stand sideways so you can see this a little easier. Okay? So my hips are over my feet, which means that my leg bones are holding up my pelvis. Okay? My spine comes up from my pelvis, my head sits on top of my spine, my shoulders hang from my head. My muscles don't need to work. The bones do the work. They're stronger than muscles. Okay, my muscles can relax. So if I have a buildup of tension from tensing up, the best thing I can do is to bounce down. Okay? That's using the opposite muscles that I do when you tense up. And simply, don't hold your breath when you do this obviously, but simply bouncing down. Okay? And shaking is the opposite of tensing. I can't shake and tense at the same time. So if you bounce and shake okay, in a neutral position, you're going to be getting rid of tension, okay? And if your legs feel tight, shake them out a little bit, okay? Now, this position is not going to be relaxing at the beginning for many people, okay? It wasn't relaxing for me when I first learned. It took really months for me. I was a pretty uptight guy, so it took me months before I got relaxed with this process. What you're going to, what's going to happen with this is you're going to recognize where the tension is once you put your body into neutral. Okay? So your calves might start to tighten up, or you might feel it up in here, or your back might tighten up, or your neck, or your shoulders. That's helpful information. That tells you where the tension is. Okay? So then you can do a number of techniques to relieve that tension. Basically, the, the simple concept is either movement or stretching. Slow, easy movement or stretching. So if I have tension in my neck, let's say, and I just kind of slowly move it around, that can help to relieve the tension. If I have tension in my leg, okay, and I stretch the leg, okay, and relax into the stretch, not forcing the stretch, but relax into the stretch, that can relieve the tension, okay? So three simple techniques, the bouncing and the shaking, stretching, and slow, easy movement, okay? Now there's a position with the grounding that is very, very helpful in reducing tension, okay? It involves rolling down the spine, and so that your bones are holding you up and it's virtually impossible to tense up in the position I'm about to show you. So I'm going to demonstrate this slowly and watch what I do. Okay? So I'm going to uh, start out facing you and notice that my feet are directly under my hips and they're pointing straight ahead. Okay? If they're pointing in, then the outside of my muscles are working on my leg. Okay? If they're pointing out, now the muscles on the inside of my leg are working. Okay? So they're in neutral when if you draw a line between my heels and my toes, those lines would be parallel and never meet. Okay? So you start with your feet pointing straight ahead. Now I'm going to turn sideways so you can see kind of what happens from that view. Okay? And you simply start breathing. And as you breathe out, let your head and your shoulders drop forward. I'm going to do this a little faster than I would recommend you do it just to save some time. But as I breathe out, I just let my head and my arms hang. Okay? Now, very important with the head. Okay? 
if I'm lifting my head, I'm tensing my neck. Okay, that's not good. That's going to create some problems. Okay, and when I get down to this position, I can actually see the wall behind me. If I can see my own feet, I'm tensing my neck. Watch what happens if I can see my feet. See, I'm tensing my neck. I want to let that go. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of practice for people to let go. We're told to, to hold our head up and things like that, and we do that literally. So as I breathe out, I let go. And you notice my legs are starting to shake. That's a normal and healthy response. Now they're getting rid of tension. And if you have a particular sore spot, okay, like my lower back has a tendency to tense up. I've had an accident and some surgery. I can push the end of my breath against that area. So watch what happens as I push my breath against my hand. You don't have to put your hand there. This is just so I can demonstrate it to you. But watch it. Watch this. Okay. And when you feel like you've been down there long enough, okay, is Joe slowly start to roll up from the base of your spine. Okay, so the first thing to come is your la your lowest vertebrae. And the head and the arms just hang. You come up as you breathe in, relax as you breathe out. And I'm coming up about twice as fast as I would recommend you do, uh, just to save time. And I'll be a little lightheaded when I come up. So if you come up too quickly, you'll be lightheaded. And that will pass in a few minutes. Okay? That's the grounding technique. So if you have a sinus infection, don't practice that part of hanging over because that's kind of nasty for your sinuses. Uh, but you can practice the bouncing. And if you have a back problem or something like that, uh, you can practice it sitting just by pressing your feet down as you breathe in, relax as you breathe out. You can also do it lying down. If you have your knees up and your feet flat, Okay, so the, your legs are kind of like this, and you're laying on your back. Uh, and simply press down with your feet as you breathe in, and relax as you breathe out. It's not a comfortable position to begin with. Remember, it's not going to be relaxing at first. But as you let go of tension and re resolve the patterns of tension that may have been building up for years, okay, then your body gets into neutral, and you recognize when the tension starts to build. So I may not even be aware that there's a potential stressor, but I might be aware my shoulders are coming up. Okay, oh, something's going on. First I'll let them down. Take a breath, what's going on? Okay, when you're in balance and not building up tension, everything is easier. When you're out of balance and building up tension, everything is harder. Good luck, have fun.